Dude, I'm bad, okay? I understand that, right? I don't... But... I think I played the matchup completely wrong. However... So far, dude. Like, the, the guy just runs away, and then he goes like that, and like... Goes like that. Do you, do you want me to, like, give my, give my perspective and what I think, or do you want me to disagree with you? <laughs> I want you to be honest. Okay, so... Here's what I'm gonna say. I don't think you're bad at the matchup. I think you're. I think you're correct. You do things wrong. Um, and what I think you do wrong is at least I. Th okay, so I think your neutral is good. I think you use walling habits like effectively. I think you wall really well. Um, I don't think that you use your dash dance to take or give up space enough. Um, I agree. And then. I feel like you're not catching on to habits as well as you could be. I think you catch on to habits against me very well because we play a lot, or at least in tournament. Um, but like against Adam, he has a big habit where uh, he would do like a down tilt or some kind of swift approach into dash back pivot, uh, either forward smash or nair. Okay. Um, and it was something that I didn't see necessarily catch on to too much. I see. Um, but what I was talking about on comms if you go back and watch the set you'll hear me talk about it i was talking about how in my mind your combo game is so sick right like you do all this cool shit but you're not doing enough of the guaranteed shit to make the cool shit threatening if that makes sense mm, yeah so essentially what i had to learn because i was also a cool combo spammer was that my neutral is only that much more threatening if i'm killing my opponent off with an opening so I can be afraid of getting hit by someone until they show me that they're only going to go for DI mix-ups and this cool shit, and then like all of a sudden I'm way less afraid of getting hit, and oftentimes I'll give up neutral interactions because like I can risk it because I'm like surely they won't kill me off this, and that's where I think you struggle a little bit, like where you have a stomp that could put into a knee, like even if it doesn't kill, it's gonna. It has way more hit sun and knockback sailing than any of your other aerials. Yeah. So it's gonna set up for a better edge guard. Um, I just think be a little bit more flowcharty in your play. Don't abandon what you've built already, mm. but just add it to your repertoire, and then you'll see that like when you need to throw in the flowcharts, it's gonna make the matchup that much easier, and they'll be scared of your flowcharts so that the DI mixups will work. Mm, I see. That makes sense. Yeah. I think. I think Salt does that really well, where they like, whatchamacallit, like, like, the dash dance game is crazy, and they put themselves in situations where they can do sick stuff more often, because they're playing in a, in a way that, like, allows them to, if that makes sense, like, yeah. I don't know. No, it does, and I agree, she does that extremely well, yeah. um, and like, I, I think that's why most players are afraid to get hit by her, especially Martha. Like, I playing Salt is crazy because she's just like either going to hit me with optimal true combos or just the craziest shit I've ever seen, and I don't know which it is. Which it yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and that's where you want to get to. Mm -hmm. For sure. I appreciate the advice, dude. Of course. Yeah, I think I don't like dash dancing. That's like a glaring flaw. Like I, I hate dash dancing because it feels like it's so good, but like. You don't know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Like you're just both going like this, and like anything can happen. I'd rather do like waveland stuff, but I don't know that. Like that shit, I think is so much, so much better. I feel like. Yes. So I don't know. The way I kind of use my dash dancing is I'm trying to like put myself into my opponent's space and see how they react when I enter that space. Mm -hmm. So that way I can make a decision. If I enter, ooh, he tripped and died. Ooh. <laughs> um. If I know that they're going to go for a certain thing when they see a certain range, uh, 
then like I can actively counteract that. And if I know that they're going to try and approach me if I go too far away from them, then I can be prepared to defend. I and see. It's, it's also like, out of dash chance, like, as opposed to like wave land shenanigans, like out of dash chance, you can run up crouch, you can run up do smash attacks if you crouch before, you can yeah. wave dash down, you can wave dash back. There's so many more options instead of like doing platform movement. And also, doing platform movement, like, you're putting yourself in the air, which in this meta you really don't want to be in unless you're buffed. Like, yeah. You know, you want to be able to floor hug as much as possible, and it's kind of tricky to deal with at first, or like it used to, but. I definitely agree with that. Like, I've been consciously trying to jump less against Marth because I feel like jumping is so bad mm -hmm. versus Marth. I don't know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. So, because, like, if you jump. The only if if I'm at zero percent, the only aerial I am truly worried about is stomp, because I, if I'm true CCing, I can CC knee. Yeah, it's it's just crazy, but it can happen. Yeah. Um, so like if you jump and I run up and crouch, like you do it well, you do like your Lord stomps well, or like you read my down tilts or crouch attempts. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think you should try and seal some dash dancing game plans from like Salt's gameplay. I don't yeah. think Wizrobe does too much of it, but the way he does dash dance is effective enough that he's able to make a decision out of it almost every time. Every time, yeah. So I think like maybe watching those two four dash dances and like seeing how they both use it, you'll probably learn something. Get you you'll make the the Marth matchup way less frustrating. Yeah, for sure. You yeah, know, I hundred percent agree with that. Yeah. I what else is in it? What else was I gonna say? Yeah, dash dancing is like one of those fundamental things that's like like really overlooked and not talked about. Like it's you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Compared to other stuff at least. I yeah. agree. I also think it's just like most characters well, not most, but there are a lot of characters that aren't using wave dash or not wave dash, uh, dash dancing in like the top level meta. I mean like Fox and Marth and Falcon really use it, but a lot of other characters utilize wave dash and they're moving a lot more than those characters. Um, like Sheik, Ice Climbers, Yoshi. I mean Yoshi's weird. Well that's because they have to, right? Right, yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> they don't have the amazing dash dance to allow them to. I mean even Falco, he has more velocity when he wave dashes as opposed to dash dancing. So You'll see a lot of Falco players use wave dash instead of like the initial dash to get themselves ba uh, places faster. I see. So, I uh, I don't know. You could also just like you don't have to watch Falcon players. You can watch PPMD, see how he uses his dash chance, and just like see how you can apply it to yourself. Yeah, for sure. That's uh, he's my favorite player to watch for dash chances because he kind of just spams it. <laughs> true, true. But. Appreciate it. Back to the match. <laughs> that week. Who's playing right now? It's a uh, Robin Mossy Matt. Hmm. Which uh, this match could very much dictate Acidix's tournament. Really? Oh yeah. Well, Rob beat him in winners, and oh, well, let's go, Rob. Respectfully. I... <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> I uh, I know Adam does not favor the Sheik matchup all that much. He's really good against Pop. Uh, in fact, at the last tournament, him and uh, Mossy Matt played, and he kind of owned Matt. So, Rob winning is like Adam's nightmare. Mossy Matt winning is like Adam's dream come true. Wait, so it's... How, how many more steps until he gets to Grand Finals? Uh, well, Adam is waiting in Loser's Semis, and this is Loser's Quarters. So, um, he has two more sets. He has to get through whoever wins this, and then he, whoever wins that has to get through me. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. This matchup's not good, but it's doable. I, uh... I played Hoborg in this matchup yesterday in a lot of friendlies, and... If Puff has a timing read on Sheik, you really can just press down and B whenever you want. <laughs> it's really awesome. I would literally like just sit outside of Hoborg holding shield, and then I would jump and rest when I think he would act out of shield. Dang. It would work. It was 
it, it got to the point where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna switch off Sheik. I, I meant Puff because like, <laughs> it's funny, but it's not fun. <laughs> Trying to figure out. Both of these players seem like they're acting like really soon. Do you? Are you familiar with like the concept of ap acting on a beat, like like within neutral, like timing mix-ups and stuff, like beat zero, beat one, beat two, yada yada. No. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out in this matchup because it very much differs per matchup. But Cake Salt and I were talking about it in the last session that we played, and like essentially. You can figure out when a player likes to act if you have predefined beats per se. Like in Fox Marth, um, Cake Assault looks for one set of Marth dash dance as one beat. So if I don't dash dance and I just go in immediately, that's beat zero. If I do one dash dance to come in, that's beat one. And basically, he breaks it down and looks at it like if I look for these beats. I can figure out, like, I can really dismantle a player's habits in neutral. And, like, I don't know if that concept applies to this matchup, because Puff kind of just zones perpetually. But, it's something to think about. It's kind of like, this person goes in on B1 a lot, get him. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You, you wait, and you're like, alright, this is the equivalent of B1, I'm gonna prepare for their approach. Oh! oh! Get his ass! Cooking? Nah. I'm not. <laughs> Unless it's Miffy, they're not. That, fa that phantom rests, I'm punishing it. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Living, living, living. <laughs> oh. Dude, holy chungus. <laughs> that phantom rest was so much momentum. Uh oh. Rob! I don't like the way Rob's playing. <laughs> but, oh. Okay. Doable, doable. It's doable, it's doable. Take to the platforms. Dude, oh. that was not a good spot to go. Oh! Oh, he's okay, dead. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. Oh! Oh, okay, the slide it, off was it, crazy! That's it, that's it, that's it. GG, GG. Why?! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> What's the game count? Do one mat. Okay. Holy sheesh! Surely Rob goes to Fountain or Battlefield. Oh. What? Did they gentlemen? This is good, right? This is good. Yeah, but Rob already won here. Oh. Maybe they agreed to it? Yeah. I mean, they're playing it out, so... Can't a oh, can't ask now. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Oh, man. Rob jumping a lot. Yeah. I would agree. I forgot how Jay plays this. Uh, I think he plays very, like, needle-heavy on the platforms to kind of pop Puff up. Um, he also just uses needles in neutral, because, like, if you can, if you have enough needles and you hit Puff with the needles, then you can confirm in a grab. So. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I don't know, this matchup's pretty tough. Oh, nice. I like it. Oh? Okay. Does like that, that? That's kind of spooky. Okay. Oh, he, just walked. he just walked up and F tilted. 
Okay. Interesting. I feel like Matt had all the time in the world to react. Yeah. Uh, yes. it, it, it's it's be careful. I think it's the. No, I no, no, just talk. No, I think it's the over speaker. Yeah. I wanted to hear you talk so bad. I just don't know how intense this set is because I can't see player cam. It sounds so funny, the intercom. Oh, it's it's hilarious, but. <laughs> I see. Does Matt go for a rest at this point? Oh. <laughs> he could. He, he definitely could. Oh, uh, oh. No. Dude, okay, you okay. have to be prepared for that. Okay. Two. Oh, he crouched. Two. Two. Uh. Two. Two. This uh. is Rob's tournament life. <gasps> no. Oh! Needle! Needle! Oh, that's it! No, it's not! No! It's over! It's over! It's over! GG's to Mossy Bat. Game four. Four.